In today's video, I will teach you how to cut out complex objects in PhotoP. Let's get started. First, go to PhotoP, then click File, then Open to upload the image that contains the object that you want to cut out. Now we're going to make an initial selection. First, select the Quick Selection tool from the toolbar or simply press W on your keyboard. Now click and drag over the object that you want to cut out and the tool will automatically select the area based on similar colors and edges. Don't worry if the initial selection is not perfect, you can refine it in the next steps. With your object selected, go to Select, then Refine Edge. A new dialog box will open, displaying your selection. This tool will help you fine-tune your selection, especially around complex edges like hair or feathers. The Refine Edge workspace has two sides. The left side where you can paint and adjust the selection, and the right side which shows the preview of the result. Use the brush tool within the Refine Edge window to mark areas. Use white or foreground for parts of the object that you want to keep. Then use white or background for the areas that you want to remove. And you can use gray for complex edges where the tool will determine transparency. Now adjust the brush size and start painting. Paint white over the parts of the object that you want to keep. Then paint black over the areas that you want to remove. Then paint gray over complex edges like hair or fur to refine the selection. Now zoom in to work on detailed areas by using the mouse wheel or pressing Ctrl plus or Ctrl minus. You can use border to add a smooth transition between the object and the background, which can be helpful for elements like hair or fur. Once you're satisfied with the refined selection, choose how you want to apply it. New layer creates a new layer with a cutout object. Then click OK to confirm and apply the refined selection. If your cutout still needs improvement, you can use a razor tool or brush tool to manually refine the mask. You can also zoom in and use the pen tool to create precise paths for further adjustments. And if you want to save the cutout object as a separate file, go to File, then Export As, then choose PNG to preserve transparency, then adjust the file settings, then click save. And you're done. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.